All right, so here's my X739. Uh, I bought this this year. Uh, if the video looks kind of weird, it's because I got it zoomed like halfway out. Uh, but I wanted to make this video just because when I bought this, uh, I went looking for online reviews and I couldn't find really anyone uh, going over all of the of the tractor itself. So a uh, little bit of insight on uh, this one. So I bought a like bottom line Craftsman lawn tractor uh last season uh i moved out to a place that has five acres um and it had like a 42 inch deck uh it cut good for about three months and then the thing just kind of started already falling apart um so i upgraded to this uh i did pick up the uh 54 inch blade with the extensions uh so it is a full six foot blade uh mainly uh my only reason to want to have the blade is for the snow removal. Um, not really planning to push like gravel or anything. Uh, so I did opt in for the like $200 brush guard, um, which does um, pull up, pull up on this release here. It lets it hang down that way you can open the hood. Uh, the hood is completely plastic all the way around. Like there's, it, if I took it off, it probably weighs 10 pounds. There's nothing to it. Um, motor itself, uh, this is obviously it's a 739. So um, I read some reviews that the gas motor was just not enough for this thing. And I haven't seen that. Uh, I've, I have the 60 inch deck on here. Uh, and I've cut some like 10 inch tall grass down to two and a half inches that's been pretty wet and I've been able to haul right through that thing with no problems. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're you're pulling a tiller or something uphill, you know, loaded down and you weigh 500 pounds, you might have some problems, I guess. But uh, another thing that I read, because like I said, when I looked to buy this mower, I couldn't find any good video reviews and most of the reviews online, the, the comments on it were pretty old. A lot of people saying that it, it overheated all the time. And these these screens right here on the hood cover the inlet uh, into the radiator. And they're saying they, they clog up all the time. Um, it does have... Try and get this out of here. has this filter screen here. Um pretty coarse mesh it doesn't really ever get much in there um, even when I'm mowing uh, pretty dry grass pretty tall dry grass the the screens will get quite a bit of debris on them but you can literally just kind of swipe it off with your hands and throw it off and I I haven't had any issues uh, this screen here protects it as well so it's got a lot of room for air to come in because this screen wraps all the way around um, the hood's got these grates on both sides uh, this screen does pop off there's a little thumb screw here comes right off so you can really clean out inside of there if you want to um, I've been mowing in the middle of the summer high 90s mowing for two three hours at a time and i haven't had any issues with this thing getting too hot or anything like that uh because every you know 20 30 minutes i'll just swipe my hand across this to get it off um overall uh so far i do love the tractor uh it's obviously a huge improvement from what i had um the four wheel steer has been amazing i've got some other videos uh cutting around some posts and some trees and this thing does awesome uh john deere's website claims that with a 60 inch deck you get a six inch uh uncut circle uh i think that's a little uh, aggressive or favorable for them um it's probably closer to about 10 inches or 12 uh depending on you know terrain and stuff like that um but yeah overall it's been a good tractor uh just to go over some of the features um so the seat i did opt in for the armrests uh which for 55 bucks or whatever the the option is is totally worth it um the seat itself 
Uh, I assume it's leather. It feels, especially on this center part here, feels pretty rubbery. Definitely not like a vinyl. Um, but it is a nice seat. It does get kind of hot. Um, there's definitely not, if you're sitting on this in the on a summer day, you're not breathing or anything. Um, it would be nice to see like a mesh pad on here or something. Uh, it is adjustable. It does recline pretty far back. Um, flips up pretty easy. Uh, it does have a good um, spring suspension on it. It's not the air ride seat. Um, but I mean, it's not that uncomfortable of a seat. Um, this little blue thing was put in here by me because you shouldn't have to sit on a seat to start your car, start your engine. Um, the gas tank fills right here, nice and big. Um, it's got a, I think what's like five and a half gallon capacity. That normally lasts me probably three hours of mowing, two and a half to three hours of mowing, depending on what I'm doing. Um, not the best, not the worst. Um, it has this 12 volt outlet back here, which is pretty seized at the moment because I don't ever use it. All right, yeah, but there's a 12 volt outlet there. A uh, little compartment in here has your deck leveling gauge and the leveling, uh, the adjustment tool for the mower deck. Um, the uh, the reverse lights are pretty freaking bright, same as the headlights. Uh, if you're behind this and you need these to get turned on, it's pretty pretty blinding at night. Uh, I did opt out, I don't know if you can see it down here, to get the, uh, the hitch. Uh, and then I got the extra ballast support back here um, for the six weights. They're over there. Yeah, stored away for this winter. Um, I don't ever take the bracket off, but it is pretty easy to just pop off with these fasteners turn off. Uh, it pulls right out. Uh, the mower deck. Uh, adjustment for that is I found to be somewhat finicky. Um, I'll start it up here in a minute, kind of show you, run you through it. But um, these wheels, uh, they've got, you know, adjustments like, you know, they're not spaced apart at all. It's literally every like quarter inch is another adjustment. So um, uh, they are, they are heavy. There are some serious wheels. Uh, for me, I've about drove myself mad for the first month or so running from obviously you can see i have a wood floored garage and then my driveway isn't the smoothest thing either um running around from side to side of the lawnmower trying to figure out should i have you know five holes or four holes or whatever but then getting the same amount of clearance underneath each wheel um just Kind of annoying, but uh, if you got a nice flat surface, I assume it would probably run a lot easier. The, uh, I guess, ejector guard. Uh, I don't fucking like this thing. It's cheap. Uh, it weighs nothing. It's literally just shitty plastic. Um, my father's got a Harris uh, Zero Turn, and that thing is just super dense, like rubber almost, that... I mean, you could probably try and chuck a knife blade through that and it wouldn't puncture through. This thing, if it probably took a rock, it'd, it'd bust right in half. Uh, and I think personally for me, it sits too low. So I put a couple uh, just magnets on here just to raise it up a little bit because it was shooting like, I mean, you would have like a line of just clippings chucked off to the side of the mower. Um, and I really didn't like that. Um, hydraulic fittings, ports, I got, yeah, ports down here, um, easy to reach, nothing wrong with those. Uh, it is, obviously it's hydrostatic, forward, reverse, and then your brake pedal, which I've 
never had a touch for anything other than starting it. Uh, your mower deck uh, height control or height adjuster. Um, once you turn the mower off, the deck will settle and then you won't be able to turn this thing until you pick it back, turn the uh, mower on and pick it back up. Um, but obviously you've got your highest over here at five inches, come all the way down here. Uh, and then uh, this spot, this uh, position here is to, to remove the deck, uh, which I'll talk about a little bit later. That's kind of a pain. Not really, but it's finicky, I guess. Um, let's see. The mid PTO engage, or I guess the PTO engage is right here. Um, you just pull it, uh, to override the reverse, uh, safety switch while you've got it pulled out, uh, it's spring loaded. You can pull it again and it'll, it'll spring load back. Um, it, or else, uh, you have this yellow switch over here, uh, to override it, which I've got to say is the, the safety system for backing up while mowing is super touchy. Um, like if you even put your foot on the reverse and this thing's not fully in, uh, it'll kill the PTO. So you put a little uh, inline connector right here and jump out those two wires. You'll never have to do that again. Um, you got your switches over here for your headlights uh, and then your um, the lights on the back and then your on off for your 12 volt outlet. Uh, throttle full up the uh there's a little lever here to adjust your steering wheel um and then you've got your your hydraulic controls here uh and your parking brake and then the cruise control which i personally don't use uh it's a mechanical cruise control just locks the um the pedal in whatever position it's at but you'll get up to the speed you want push this and let off the pedal and then you'll drop like it's a noticeable amount of speed that you'll drop uh from pushing this in and then letting off the gas to this actually engages so i don't ever use cruise control uh just don't think it's that good the <laughs> the steering wheel knob i read some reviews to make sure you get one of these and i didn't listen uh the first time i mowed my yard my hands were just black from rubbing off of here um so get this uh especially with this being the four-wheel steer and that hydraulic steering is just really loose um so yeah get this it's gonna save your hands <laughs>